what, what the lady is talking about. What's up, family? Shanetta Lewis is going through it. Her only child, Cherion Lockett, who had never been in trouble with the police in 26 years of living, an honor roll student, gunned down on her front porch by members of the Houston Police Department. Now, fam, I got a serious question to ask you, but I'm going to hold off until after I read this report by the Houston Chronicle and give you guys a chance to decide for yourself, what do you think about this case? Cover up or not? A marked Houston police vehicle arrived outside Cherion Lockett's house nearly simultaneously with plainclothes officers, according to body-worn camera footage from the fatal February 7 encounter. The Houston Police Department officers did not announce themselves at Lockett's home in the 800 block of Oak West Drive before gunfire erupted, video shows. Whether or not they had time to do so remains unclear. Police allege Lockett, wanted on an aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon charge, fired first in an exchange of gunfire spanning seven seconds. Lockett was killed in the violent crash. The Harris County Sheriff's Office is investigating the shooting by police because it happened in their jurisdiction. Officials with the Harris County District Attorney's Office and Police Department are conducting their own review of Lockett's death. Body-worn camera footage from nine officers, including the four who opened fire, officers Victor Villarreal, Devin Innocencio, Peter Carroll, and Sean Houlihan, was released Thursday night after being shown to Lockett's grandfather and family lawyers. The family has condemned HPD's actions and the arrest warrant leading up to the shooting. The videos, which span nearly 20 minutes, do not clearly show Lockett brandishing a gun or firing the initial shots, an aspect that lawyer Taft Foley cited alongside the Lockett family during a news conference outside HPD headquarters. It does not show that young man firing a single shot at the police, Foley said. It does not show a single officer announce his presence before firing the shots. A single gunshot can be heard, however, as two plainclothes officers, Villarreal and Innocencio, approaches the house. Now, this is critical. From the perspective of Innocencio, in the passenger seat of a red unmarked vehicle, the shot can be heard as he points his gun outside of the moving car. He quickly brings his arm back into the car. Police say the gunshot came from Lockett. Innocencio can then be seen opening fire with both hands on the gun. The recoil is noticeable. Three other law enforcement officers involved in the arrest also opened fire at this time. Randall Callanan, Co-counsel with Foley said he was with Lockett's grandfather to watch the police videos, and he asked authorities to let him watch footage from Innocencio's camera again. Upon a second viewing, he noticed that Innocencio pointed his weapon outside just before the first shot is heard, and that at no point did he announce himself as a law enforcement official. Video from Carroll, the investigator who wrote Lockett's arrest warrant in an unmarked tire hole briefly shows Lockett standing alongside his black vehicle as the windshield appears to shatter. The exchange of fire left Lockett dead about an hour after he and his mother are said to have received a phone call from a law enforcement official alerting them to the warrant. The allegation stemmed from an incident last November in which a high school acquaintance of Lockett accused him of trying to steal from him. The officers involved in the arrest appeared to have been surprised by the immediate gunfire, which unfolded around 10.45 a.m., authorities said. Villarreal, the driver of the red car, died to the ground in an apparent attempt to protect himself. He surfaced seconds later behind the vehicle to open fire on Lockett. His decision to abandon the vehicle prompted the car to collide with the police cruiser, 
with uniformed officers Dante Coppola and Anthony Wright inside. Their emergency lights were flipped on as the two turned on to Oak West. Wright in the passenger seat yelled at his partner to stop the patrol vehicle as the shooting unfolded. The driver, Coppola, then aimed his firearm at the windshield. He did not open fire. By the time the officers got out of their vehicle, Lockett had been shot and collapsed in the doorway of his home. He died at the scene. No officers were injured. As far as the aggravated robbery charge, it was dismissed with prosecutors citing death as the reason, according to court documents. Cherion Lockett's mother said that he studied criminal justice at Sam Houston State University and Lamar University, where he obtained a bachelor's degree. So my question, fam, is why would a young man who has never been in trouble with the police before, in 26 years, a young black man who ain't never been in trouble with the police before, an otherwise model citizen, an honor roll student with so much to live for, why would he open fire on the police over somebody saying, a person, an individual, it wasn't, the bank didn't say, oh, that's him. He wasn't on the news. A person said he took something from them. Why? would he open fire on the police? And he is in college studying criminal justice. He has a master's degree. This does not sound like someone who is anti-law enforcement. This sounds like somebody who had plans on working within the system, perhaps to make this raggedy ass shit somehow better. I don't know. This doesn't sound like an outlaw. In fact, sounds just the opposite. Sounds like a law abiding citizen to me. Why would he, why fam? And why would they roll up and just start shooting? You know what? The family said they rolled up and started shooting and got hopped out of unmarked cars and, and just started shooting or whatever. Let me tell you something, fam. I believe the family. I believe the family. The chief of police, Terrence Fennis, said that uh, these guys were part of a special unit and, uh, you know, they help get uh, violent criminals off the street and keep them, get them out of our city and, you know, capture these guys who are in our city, in our region. Does this guy sound like a violent criminal? Come on, fam. You got to look at a person's history. And, and they got the records. They can look and say, oh, man, they can look at when they rolling up, when they before they ever roll up, they can see and like, oh, man, this guy, uh, you know. I mean, this is common sense. Common sense to tell you to check it out first. Like, you don't just, it's just like how a lot of people today just be calling the police and they'll, they'll swat somebody. That's when you falsely call the police and tell the police somebody is armed and dangerous and the police roll up, you're trying to get a person shot, you're trying to get them killed. So you give the police a false address. Well, you give, you give the police the address to somebody that you want uh, to have a confrontation with the police. That's what that sounds like to me. They got to go. They got to go. What kind of damn policing is that where you jump out shooting as soon as you roll up on somebody? I believe the mother. I'm not buying it. I'm going to go by the police rep and I'm going to go by the person 
who they're accusing rep. I'm going to look at both. This boy got a squeaky clean record. His mother said, hey, he knows his rights. And he would have fought false charges. He would have turned himself in. In fact, when they called uh, talking about that, she said he planned to turn himself in. He going to turn himself in and fight it because he know the charges were bogus. Now, nah, fam, this reeks of a cover-up. I'm not buying it. I'm with the family on this. I trust the family. I'm going to look at the police rep. The police got to show me something different before I can believe them. I got to see a different kind of reputation. And then I'll give you the benefit of doubt. But until then, hell no. Hell to the no. Uh-uh. I'm riding with the family on this. I'm riding with the family. I say sue today, sue tomorrow, sue forever. And also pursue criminal charges. You ain't going to get it from the police because you can't expect the police to investigate the police. You're going to have to go and get some help. You're going to have to get the FBI in on this one because the sheriff department ain't going to get it done. I can tell you that right now. I know if it was my loved one, I would not be sitting back waiting on them to make a decision because I know what that's going to look like. Hell no. Pressure, fam. Pressure, family. You're going to have to apply some pressure. Why are the police so trigger happy? I mean, they love shooting human beings. They love killing black people. This was damn near a drive-by shooting. I mean, hey fam, come on now. That's cold-blooded, man. If they could do that to him, if they could do something like that to Sherry on, you know what they could do to you and me. It ain't that hard. Can't let this slide. Family, apply pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Do not let them sweep this under the rug. Uh-uh. My personal opinion, this was murder. My condolences to his mother, his family and friends. R.I.P. Cherry on Lockett. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.